Hey everybody, it's Susanna from Papercraft Planet and I wanted to do a quick video on a paint resist technique that works beautifully with these new Frontage Stampendous stamps. Um, I just love this one. It's a bird in a nest. It's got a lot of scroll and swirl and it's a perfect choice for a paint resist technique because it gives you that shabby chic soft look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, by demonstrating on a tag. So first let's take our string off and then I'm going to take my stamp and I'm going to let it cling onto a clear acrylic block. I'm going to give you a little bit of background about these stamps. They come attached to this little piece of cling that's adhered to the back of your stamp and then it'll come mounted on a piece of acetate for you to store that gives it a little bit more structure. So when you peel it off just make sure you leave this attached. It's supposed to be there and it will cling and hold on to your block and it will stay. I've had some problems with cling stamps falling off. Check previous videos. Um, but these adhere like crazy which makes them perfect to work with. And the next thing I'm going to use is an Adirondack um, acrylic paint dauber. Any acrylic paint will work. I'm using pearl because I like the shimmer that it leaves behind. So I'm just going to ink it up and I'm going to dab it all over my stamp. And this won't hurt it at all. When I'm done, I'm just going to take a toothbrush and run it under some um, cool water and use my toothbrush to get the paint out of the grooves. And that's it. And it'll be clean and perfectly good to use again. I um, did this several times yesterday and my stamp still looks brand new. So, um, okay, there we go. Put my ink away and I'm just going to take this and ink it in the center of my tag like that. And I'm gonna give it a little bit of pressure. And then if your tag sticks, just carefully lift it up so it doesn't shift. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside to dry and through the magic of television, haha, -ha, I have another one right here that's ready to go. Okay, let's take the string off of that one. Okay, now, this is dry and it should resist our paint. So we have two ways we can do this. Um, we can use a, um, a Distress Stain. I'm using peeled paint. The um, Distress Stains cover large areas exactly the same as the Distress Inks. Um, when you get them, you want to take your finger and push in on the cap until you hear a pop. Um, they are sealed shut so that they won't leak during shipping. Okay, so just like you do with your ink blending tool, you're gonna start a little off the page and then work on. We're gonna cover all our areas. And then I'm just gonna wipe it away from where I've stamped. And you can see you get this beautiful resist look. Soft and it's easy and it's about a five second pull together. Here's my finished product right here. Um, this one I actually used the ink blending tool and the distress inks because I wanted to have a little bit more control over heaviness on the edges and lightness in the middle where you can see this will flatten out by the way. Um, here it's very dark in the center and then I went ahead and used my Walnut Distress Ink and just stamped the image again in the corners to give it a little bit more dimension. The nice thing about these paint daubers is you can um, use them right on your ribbon and have your ribbon coordinate with your project. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed this paint resist tutorial and we'll see you again next week.